What we have here is representative of what you'd find in a, the floor of a native forest. Ignition. But it's also not that much different from what you would find in a garden bed around somebody's house. A lot of the work that we've done in the past has been on large scale fires in the open, but we can't get detailed measurements of the heat fluxes and physical processes that are involved in the propagation of a bushfire. So we come to the Pyrotron where we can control all those variables and pull apart the important bits that are actually controlling the spread of fire through bushfire fuels. Right, so we've got flames that are now up the full length of the bark and a couple of embers coming off. The flame temperature is going to be in the order of about 900 to 1100 Celsius. And as we get a gust of wind come through, we can see that there's more and more embers being shed off the slab of bark. We've had an ember land, it's ignited a few leaves. In front of a, a large bushfire, you'll probably find that you don't just get one ember, but lots of embers landing. And depending on how close they are, they're actually spreading faster than what you would get if there was just one spot fire by itself. If any of those are starting spot fires, then it'd be far too many for you to actually be able to control safely. So if you've got spot fires landing, you need to take cover. There's no questioning the facts. Learn more at emergency.vic.gov.au. Authorised by the Victorian Government, Melbourne.